Dale Thomas has been praised after dobbing in a Magpie member who hurled racist abuse to Gold Coast Suns player Joel Wilkinson. The young defender decided to make a stand in a bid to stamp out unacceptable crowd behaviour. Wilkinson was racially vilified by Bulldog player Justin Sherman in a separate incident last year. My first game, you know, I'm out there playing and, and you know, I heard the remark from a player, the opposition player, you black sea. I remember just thinking, how do I go about this? I was at the point where I actually was prepared to fight him just to put the spotlight on the issue and make it a big issue of, oh, what's happening? Why is he doing this? Why is he reacting like this? I remember being in the room with the captains and the coach. They said to me, Joel, what do you want to do? I remember saying, I want something to happen because I actually could feel him thinking he was superior to me and he felt like I was worthless. I actually felt like he was trying to make me feel like I was a little kid, a little black kid, a little just piece of dirt. And he was a just a superior being. And growing up would be on, out in sporting field, it would be at school and the jokes, they wouldn't realise how ignorant some things they were saying were. I did feel left out. I'd be the black kid or I'd be even the N-word. I didn't actually even know what that word meant until I was probably 10 years old. That's something that I, I face and I still face to this day, um, you know, racism. I just felt I had no support if I was to speak out and it's kept to a minimum or it's swept under the carpet. It's sort of how I felt as a young kid, like, but it wasn't until I got older and it got highlighted in the AFL that I think my mum come to a realisation of how much I actually received. To be honest, it sort of it showed me the real harsh side. It was as if the, the, the darker I went, it would allow me to show more light if I could get through it and I think that's what's strengthened me. It's never a question I've asked myself whether I want to be white or lighter skin. I've always been very proud in my own identity where I can be me, Joel Wilkinson, irrespective of what society wants to pressure me about being. I don't want people from culturally different backgrounds or of, of different skin colour to want to be going to bed at night with, you know, darkness and, and feeling, feeling haunted and feeling left out. You want people to be able to feel embraced in all environments, irrespective of cultural backgrounds. So for me, inclusion and identity is massive. There are so many times where I hear jokes about people from different cultures, indigenous people, you know, different ethnic backgrounds, and we think it's just part of the culture and harden up, but there's a total difference from the majority, excluding the mino uh, minority. I respect the AFL and sporting organisations to actually stand up and try and help this issue because it's a form of social inclusion sport. But the issue doesn't come from AFL at the sporting environment. It comes from the 99% of time spent away from it. And that's what I put out, the new generation of footballs and people coming through. What are your thoughts away from everyone? Are you afraid of one yourself and the fear of the stereotypes? Or actually, do you genuinely have love irrespective if there's a camera on you or not? And that, that's the true meaning of equality.